Again, this is Jose Trujillo, a fine art artist. I'm coming to you from a corner of my art studio to talk to uh, artists today. And I just made a video. It's a, it's a bit of a continuation, just a little bit, of a video I made about uh, perfectionism or perfectionist paralysis. Go check that one out after this one. <laughs> this one's about consistency and discipline, okay? So let's say you're an artist like myself. And... I just made this video about how the idea of everything needs to be perfect, the, 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 the situation, I'm not talking about the, the actual thing, your artwork, but the situation needs to be perfect in order for you to continue. It's a nasty form of perfectionism, right? It's, it's really, it's really uh, uh, um, procrastination, but, but, but it's hiding under, under the situation's not perfect. You know, let's pull back. Uh, it, it, so this video is about consistency, right? It, my, uh, my parents were ranchers in Mexico. My dad and my mom, uh, they, they own, they own, uh, they grew up in, in, in a ranch. They, you know, cattle and all of that. My dad was a cowboy when he was a kid in Mexico. And he used to tell me this, 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 uh, Sayings, you know, they have they have like sayings from from the rural life over there. They have they talk a lot with sayings. So you find me saying doing little sayings. It, it comes from there. Uh, he would tell me, water is is water is so strong that it will shape stone. He would tell me that what water is so strong that it will shape stone. Uh, and when I was a little kid, I was like, well, what are you talking about? He's like, look at river rocks, you know. That's that's why they're that's why they're the, the shape they are, or or look at a drop of water how it penetrates a a concrete slab or wood or 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 even metal for for you know it'll you know uh, break it down you know, uh, so that made me think enough not enough to change my <laughs> to create some strong character in me but enough to change and 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 certain aspects and and and. And for me to, to ponder upon that, you know, the consistency, the discipline of water. Uh, as I got older, I've noticed that, that why so many of us, and I'm talking about myself and other people that I see, but, but of course this video is about, about, about my experiences, right? I hope that with, with these videos, uh, maybe someone, I, I, I'm able to touch someone and say, hey, wake up. So that that'd be good karma. <laughs> uh, so why do we pull back from from uh, from discipline or from consistency? I believe that many of us pull back. Like, let's say you create a to do list, right? And then you're like, I'm sticking with this, and you're going at it, but things start looking different, and your main idea of what you wanted starts shifting. So therefore, you start thinking, well, does this even fit in there anymore? You know, my, my to-do list, does this even fit in there anymore? Um, I believe this is a killer. This is horrible. But I didn't know that I was doing this, you know. I didn't even know that this was part. So, so what happens is that you start, you find yourself procrastinating it's a it's a rare form of procrastination because because you need the situation to be perfect see my intentions my goals are that this is my to-do list when this shifts right a little bit then you want to shift this right away many times you shift this to a point where you start dropping things and then as you go you realize that this is just molding this is your goals right this is molding right but then your your daily to-do list or your daily actions, you're like, oh man, I should have never dropped that because now I see, right? But what happens is that this this is your to-do list. <laughs> what happens is that this shifts and this breaks down. It's like, oh my God, what's going to happen? You know? So you start dropping things or you start moving things around. And so you're never consistent. Because because your eyes on the target, but you're you're like micromanaging the, the the shifting of your of your end goal. In other words, if you don't see what it looks like in the end, 
then you're like, why even try? <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, okay? So I believe that that's why many of us fight with discipline or lack that discipline. And I, you know, and I'm talking about many of us because they say that like 3% of the population doesn't really lack that, you know, overall in their lives. You know, I don't know what if that number, I don't know if it's scientific, but people say that, you know, only about 3% of people reach like our high achievers. They reach their goals. They go after the things that they want, whatever that is, right? The, whatever, the best swimmer, you know, whatever that is. Uh, in our case, it's being artists, right? The working artists. So I believe that that happens Again, because, because things don't look the way we want them to, you know, over there. And then we stop dropping things here. We start moving. So my suggestion, my, my, my advice, because this has happened to me. I'm talking from me. I'm not talking from, I saw it in another artist. I'm talking about me. Uh, is, look, it doesn't matter what that looks like out there. Keep going with the same intensity here. It doesn't matter. It is better. This is like something I recently learned from, from a coach, a success coach. It is better to do the wrong thing, but continuing to do it than to wait for the right thing in order to start, you know, to, to wait for things to be right for you to start. This is a killer for most people. It certainly was a killer for me. It killed, it killed, uh, uh, it kills your spirit. It kills your time. It is an assassin. It is a cold assassin. To be waiting for things to be right. Or to or to move forward if the end goal, if you can see the end goal clearly. And then, you know what I mean? Even if the end goal is not clear, move forward. Keep going. Uh, because that is what's going to get you there. Even if, you see, I, this is what I think. Okay, let me step back. Because I do that. <laughs> Most of us, I believe, in... Again, I'm talking about, you know, from, from my perspective, uh, most of us are afraid to put our energy in the wrong thing. This is really what happens. This is really the, the, the problem. We're so concerned about doing things the right way. What is the right way? What is the effective way that that we won't even do them if, if, if they're not perfect. And we don't use those terms. We don't say, well, I don't care if it's perfect. I just want to do it the right way. You know, what is the best or the best way of doing things? You know, what is the best schedule so that I'm not wasting time in my life? It is a nasty, rare form of procrastination. I told you guys this is a continuation of the last one. Why? Because it won't allow you to create consistency and discipline. See, if, if you spend all your time trying to create the perfect discipline for yourself, right? That discipline may not be the perfect thing a year from now. So you're trying to avoid pain. You're trying to avoid pain. This, this happened to me. And I'm sharing it with you. I know I'm being transparent here. You're trying to avoid pain. You're trying to say, wait a minute. What if I keep doing this and I kill myself for a, for a year or I, or, or I spend so much energy and time for a year and it wasn't even the right thing? What I learned, what I just woke up out of it, is do it anyways. Because you don't know that. And you don't know that yet. So rather than waiting to have the perfect situation, do the wrong situation, do it now. Because along the way, you will fix it. What you can't fix, though, this, this is important, okay? This, this, this shit happened to me. What you can't fix is character. That you can't fix. And I mean that, I'm not saying you can't fix it, like you can't work on it. You can't fix it if you keep doing that. See, if you create a, a, a discipline, a consistency for you, right? You say, this is going to be what I'm going to do today. I'm going to paint for so many hours. I'm going to call clients for so many hours. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that, you know, for so many time or whatever. You allocate your effort, right? Your time. And as time goes by... And things are not starting to look the way you need them to. You start going, oh, well, I don't need to do this. I don't need to do that. I don't need to do this. Because 
because now you're afraid of of wasting your time, right? It's like saying, I don't want to waste my time with that person. You know, you're, you don't want to waste your time. So you don't allow it to flower. So you find yourself starting over again. You're like, okay, well, I know what the end goal looks like now. Let me go ahead and create another discipline. You know, it's a nasty, nasty, nasty form of procrastination. So, so you, you, you keep going in, your, in the direction of your goals. And, and, uh, but your to-do list keeps changing. So you're really never going anywhere. You know, because you, 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 have to, you have to constantly start over again. So it's like saying someone who wants to be a trainer, someone who wants to, uh, I don't know, whatever, do, do, do uh, exercise, right? They, they lift weights and they do this and they do that. And then they're like, should I be a bodybuilder or should I be like, look like Bruce Lee, all slim and cut? <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. I'm just giving you a weird example. <laughs> Bear with me. My examples are awesome. <laughs> so... So this happens a lot to us as artists. Like, do I want to be the big artist or, the, or do I want to be the humble guy who creates great art? You know, in the back of his, I don't know, yard or whatever. You know? <laughs> so we fight with these things. Many of us fight with these things. And therefore, you're, you're, you, you're really avoiding the pain of, well, what if I'm doing the wrong thing? Like, what if I spend... Three hours a day, every day, painting, practicing something that I'm not even going to do a year from now. You know, you, you can fix that along the way as long as you keep going. What you can't fix is the character building because you, you, you're starting over again. You see, I don't know if I make myself clear. You continuously start over and this is a, a perpetual nasty wheel. <laughs> a perpetual nasty wheel. <laughs> I hope I'm making myself clear with this. This is this is stuff that that man, you don't get taught this stuff in school, you know? <laughs> this is this is stuff that, that it's experiential. As you're going, you're figuring this stuff out. And the help of a coach would be tremendous, but but uh but if you're figuring the stuff out on your own, it's like it's like what? How did I even how how did I not even see this, right? Because you you uh as a as a human being, I heard this these two things. You either want pleasure or you avoid pain. Either pleasure or avoid pain. Those are the two uh uh pillars or, or you know that create that create our behavior, right? You're either looking for pleasure or you're looking to avoid pain. And many times we don't do things and we hold ourselves back because we're avoiding pain. The pain of what? It's not it's not that you can't stick or you can't be disciplined. It's, 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 not, it's not that at all. I don't think it's that. I think what happens is that you start trying to, to make sense of what is the perfect situation. And if your mind can't conceive the perfect situation, you erase and start over. Erase and start over. See, but every time you erase and start over, it's like you're walking a, mi- a, a journey, right? And you're like, well, I have to go 10 miles that way. So you start your journey. But if the end goal changes, rather than saying, oh, let me keep walking, right? <laughs> I'm going to stress this to you guys. Let me keep walking and just change direction, right? This is not something we do. Nasty thing we do is that you go back to where you started, even if you, even if you started walking two miles already. You're two miles in. You go back to zero in order to de- redirect yourself. You see what I'm talking about? This is the problem. When you, when you don't do consistency and discipline, even if it's the wrong consistency and discipline, it doesn't matter. You're moving forward. Even if it's not the right one, by sheer survival, this is where I wanted to get to you guys after 14 minutes <laughs> into the video. By sheer survival... You will get there because you're going to redirect just by sheer survival as long as you keep moving forward. But let's say this is your goal, right? There's my my hand. (laughs) This is your goal. And this is you, your to-do list, your daily tasks, right? This is is where you want to get to. As you're going, as you're going to your goal, 
maybe the target moves this way because because whatever reason you know you're changing you're growing and you're like well the target moves this way rather than going like this towards it what happens is that you'll drop your tasks that were not, that were intended for this side i don't want to confuse you you drop them and you go back and then you start to to redirect this way you know to point this way, rather than maybe you're going this way and your goals are going this way and you go, oh, okay, let me keep going that way. But let me keep moving, rather than going, oh, let me start from the back and now point. You know what I'm talking about? I know it's confusing. <laughs> I hope I didn't make it so confusing. But if you, if you don't keep doing whatever your discipline is, stick to it, stick to it. I heard this from Grant Cardone. This is one of the best... Uh, Success coaches out there, go check them out. I heard, I heard this over and over from him, but I, I, it couldn't sit in. It couldn't sit in my head because I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm consistent. I'm consistent." But if you don't stick to it, you end up starting over again because you're you you don't redirect. What happens is that if you don't stick to your to your to your to your daily tasks, you go back. It's like you're walking back. You know, this is this is the problem. I'll leave you with that. I hope I touch some of you who are uh, maybe in a more uh, uh, in, in desperate need of this kind of stuff. <laughs> I certainly was. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.